Hi there! My name is Luisa Frese and in this video I will show you how to get started with Graph Explorer. Microsoft Graph offers us a single endpoint to access data in Microsoft 365, Windows 10 and Enterprise Mobility and Security and can be used by makers and developers. To get started to use the Graph API, the team provided us a very fantastic tool and it's called Graph Explorer. Let's see how this works. Visit Graph Explorer at aka.ms slash GE. You will see that you can sign in to the Graph Explorer, but you don't need to. Let's try it first without signing in. I will perform a GET request in version 1.0 to graph.microsoft.com version 1.0 slash me. So this should return information about me. Run this query and as we can see me is Megan Bowden so that is the signed in user even if I'm not signed in so this is the sample data and Megan works as an auditor and has an email address and of course a user ID. So let's see what it gives if I want to get my photo, my profile picture. This is the endpoint me slash photo slash dollar sign value because we do not want to get the metadata but the actual picture um, of this um, endpoint and as you can see this is the profile picture of Megan Bone. I want to log in so I will sign into Graph Explorer. It will ask me with which account I do want to do this. I'm now signed in. I want to create a new team. And of course it already gives me not only the post here and the correct version and the correct endpoint. What it will also give me is the request body. So you might have noticed in our get request we did not need to have a body with a post request. Of course we need to pass in some information and that needs to be here the template which is the standard teams template. It needs to have a display name and the description as well. I will just leave it by that and try to uh, run this query. And boom, bummer, it tells me 403. So this request is forbidden. Why is it forbidden? Because um, this API requires team create or group read write all or directory read write all permission um, scopes um, so that I am allowed to perform this request. So we can easily fix that. So I will select modify permissions. And it tells me I need to have at least team.create and uh, I will confirm this consent on behalf of my organization as I'm the global admin here. And uh, what you need to understand is Graph Explorer is now an enterprise application in Azure Active Directory in this tenant. So you can review all permissions even there. So I will accept this. Once I did this, I will try to run this query again. It takes a moment and it tells me this was accepted, so the team got created. In Graph Explorer, of course, we can do even more. So there are not only a ton of um, sample queries, but also um, the documentation to each and every sam sample is nicely tied in. So if you select this I information button over here, uh, there is a direct link to um, user list joint teams in this case, which means that uh, there is documentation for this particular request and it lists uh, the permissions and it gives you some some additional um, tips and of course you can uh, preview the response so uh, that you can always compare how it should behave um, while actually trying this out. You see Graph Explorer is an amazing tool to learn and try out and it gets you a step closer to your working solution. Now it's up to you. What will you try out at aka.ms slash ge?